My brother and my sister, how are they? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the part of the world, where are they, where they say this is my video. I say, my God bless you, nyafu nyafu. Child of God, say amen. My brother and my sister, don't come again now with another interesting matter. As you can see, no time to waste time waiting to happen. The wave of uh, military takeovers of government of uh, Africa, heads of states of Africa, military overthrow or queue, depending on how we see them. You see, we think they talk about Africa, about bad governance, uh, corruption, corruption, nepotism, everything. Everything where they bad, every sister where they bad, you see them for Africa. I don't know why Africa became the capital of uh, corruption. I, I, I don't know why Africa became the capital of uh, bad leadership. <coughs> you can see the example. You can see the example. Eh? What else <coughs> warrants or warranted the military governments of countries in Africa are taking over from the leadership? You have to ask yourself a question. That is what is happening in Africa, in Nigeria, whatever country, West Africa. This is what we have been talking about. Look at what happened in Niger, Burkina Faso, uh, Mali, uh, 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 what again now, uh, Guinea. Today, again, yeah, we, we woke up to the news of a uh, ministry takeover in Gabon, Africa, waiting the sub, waiting the happen. What is all this? Eh? Something is fueling this matter. Something is fueling this problem. As you can see, how the people we are rejoicing when the meeting took over in Burkina Faso. You see how people we are rejoicing on the street. The way people are so happy. The same thing. Uh, the same thing happened in Nigeria. Probably people were so happy when the meeting took over. People came out to the street to march and uh, 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 to march in support of the military take over in Niger Republic. All of us is still alive. All of us is see what is happening in Gabon. How the civilians, the people, the masses is jubilating, dancing in the streets of uh, is it Libraville, Gabon. People are so happy. You can see in their faces that people have been have been in, 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 in have been sent to abject poverty. People have been traumatized by so many years of this guy we call uh, Omo Bongo what is called his name you can see the guy the guy the guy is partially stroke anybody can be sick sickness no doesn't know any age anybody can be sick but my brother if you are in government if you are sick you will not leave the government and the office of the government or the president is not your uh, your father's right it's not your inheritance if you cannot perform, he is sick. He cannot perform. He leave to another, to leave and give another person to another person to take over. And this government should not be a government of the few, government of your family, government of your relations, government of your friends, leaving other people to die in abject poverty and hunger and neglect. That is the bone of the contention of the issue in Africa, where the military are coming up to take the mantle of leadership because of the corrupt system everywhere. You can see a president who change the constitution. The constitution says that he will be there for only two times. He will see one man, one president will come and change the constitution. And he, he gave himself another third time, fourth time. Look at what happened. This is the major thing that is fueling this military takeovers in some countries in Africa. My brother, my brother, my sister, this guy can't tire me. This guy can't tire me. I'm even ashamed to call myself, say I'm from Africa. What did they happen? Everywhere, no country in Africa is different. Except uh, South Africa, or Namibia, Botswana, Zambia, you know, that doesn't have this kind of uh, seat tight uh, leadership. Somebody wants to be there till the kingdom come. This thing that is happening is an advice, an eye opener to every president in, in Africa. You go to Nigeria, if you like, you do well, or if you like, you misbehave. That is a problem. This is a revolution. People have now started taking it by themselves. People have realized that the power belongs to the people. The military can never cannot take it any longer. That's that, that's why they are intervening because of the corrupt system they found in their government for a long time. That's where they are intervening. So this is one shortage for all African leaders to behave themselves. 
Thank you, my brother. And as I see him today, if you like what I had talk about today, I say make a comment and share and they follow this my page for more updates like this. As you do that, I say may God bless you. See you again in my next video. Bye bye.